very Merry Xmas and a Happy Holidays to you all. Toysha's here, and I am back yet again for, let's say, the ultimate cartoon TMNT video of all the gifts underneath the tree this year. Well, definitely been looking forward to this one because we finally have a look at the Negatoys cartoon TMNT turtle van. And the box is enormous and it has gorgeous artwork by artist Tim Laddie all over it. If you know Tim, he's the guy doing all those wonderful Saturday morning adventures comics. But you have Foot Clans and Raphael's and of course, April O'Neil and Donatello manning the turtle van with Leonardo taking charge while Michelangelo is on the big side cannon, right? Very cool, awesome artwork. Really brings everything to life, especially Krang in the reflection of the Channel 6 building. That's where they're headed off to. And just one of the coolest signatures in the game right there. Look at that. Tim Laddie with some broken news canister action. The turtle van by NECA Toys. And the box? Well, it's got all that fancy packaging that we know and love, especially on the back, where it will tell you a little bit about it. Turtle stomp the foot flat with his mighty mobile command center. It's got all kinds of doodads and opening up sections, and I'm just gonna tell you, be very careful with it until you learn how everything moves. But I love this shot right here. And Donatello's Techno Tips, located on the bottom panel which will tell you how everything fits and works and the swap out features, so there's no guessing. So definitely read it. How to open the roof, that's important. How to pop the top roof off, right? Collapsed laser chair, the swappable battle walls. I'm gonna show you all this, of course, but the laser chair, that's a big one. Gotta know how that works. Also, there are electronics in this. It does come with the battery, so you're good for now, but screen grab that in case you need to replace them. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this turtle van, and here's the barcode for no reason. So, this is gonna be an absolute Christmas blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new cartoon TMNT, the turtle van, after as many months, about a year and a half, by NECA Toys. So, you cut all the tape, open the box, and you got these big plastic trays, and that's where your turtle van is gonna live. So you have to cut everything in there, go really easy, it's subsections out, so there's no, of course, guessing, like I said, but once you get everything out, uh, the turtle van certainly comes to life. That's pretty darn cool. And here it is all open. So it's a very open vehicle. And unlike the traditional Ecto ones that we've gotten over the years, the turtle van finally opens up and you can have some fun with it. You can put turtles in there and you can put April and everybody else. There are things to do in the turtle van and that's the best aspect of all of this. Now, like I said, it's very open, but there is a lot of pieces to get to know and understand and make sure uh, that you don't snap anything incorrectly and break anything. You don't want to go that route, that's for sure. And I will tell you this, like all NECA toys and all the cartoon TMNTs go very easy with the turtle van until you figure it out. Now, you have the top parts, the front at least, that pops off. So you have the lights and you got the underneath parts. And again, it all just snaps together, but figure it out, learn it. The lights are painted well, nothing moves there, but up here for this antenna, that will swivel. So you got that going on. Plus, right here is where you're gonna plug in the laser cannons, and those have a little shifter knob, which will move them up and down, right? So you got the laser cannons, those are separate pieces. These are the only ones that really have some of that cell shaded black line look that goes with the rest of the cartoon TMNT. I would have liked some particle blast effects to clip onto the tops, that's for sure. But they simply just port in as such and go really easy. They're on a ratcheted system. They'll go up, they'll go down. You get the idea, you get the other one in there and boom, you got the top front parts of your brand new turtle van. And that's a nice standout color, greens, yellows, and gray. Now moving on to the bottom half of the battle chair. You have some green bombs underneath, whereas the original party wagon had some reddish orange bombs with a little sticker on them. These, of course, fit the cartoon a lot better. You have the top parts of the laser blaster. You have the 
blaster steering mechanism right there that'll swivel. You can hook the turtle's hands into there. I totally thought that this was something that would move, but it doesn't. Again, nice little blaster effect. That would have been kind of cool to clip on to the blasters. Now, you have the chair aspect, the wing back, with all the seat belt action that you can muster. And underneath is where you're going to remove the seat belts. And that way you can strap your various Ninja Turtles in like Mikey or Raph or any of the turtles. Anybody can fit in this. But just simply take these two pieces and go really easy. It took me a little bit to kind of snap these together. I was kind of worried. I'm like, am I forcing it? It will go. And this blaster part actually fits in there quite nicely. Just make sure everything is nice and snug and snapped together. Now, we do have some swap out pieces. It's all about customization a little bit. You have some peg holes on this brown piece, and this is going to snap in right behind the seats, right? So you have more of this brown wall. Just make sure everything is nice and snug. It took a little while to kind of figure it out. Then you have the more collapsed laser blaster for the opposite side door, which folds down. That's a nice touch. You can either have this on or leave it off. It's up to you. It's got four peg holes in it. And that way, you kind of have to figure it out. You kind of snap it in one by one. But eventually, yes, it will fit together. Now, if you don't want the brown wall behind the seats, you can do this, which I opted for. I think that this looks a whole heck of a lot cooler and really what I remember from the cartoon, although it always changed for the turtle wagon. Same doodads every which way, but go very easy when installing this. There's a lot of scraping going on. It didn't do much, which, thank God, that's the worst thing. However, with the side door, at least on the more collapsed laser side, I did see some paint rub into that, so be very careful. Now you're going to want to fix the laser blaster to the door that swings out and it fits nicely. It's very reminiscent again of the old party wagon. However, I will say this weight might become an issue in the future, especially here you have it displayed like this. So maybe consider putting a prop underneath because it worries me about this door. It's a hinge, but then too much weight, too much pressure. You never know. So Try to uh, prop it up underneath. Now, as we go top side to the turtle van, we have these doors which open up for the ceiling canopy area. And that's where you would launch your TMNT, just like in the original opening. I always love that. Again, like I had mentioned previously, all the doors open. So you have the passenger side and you can see the console and the steering wheel from the driver's side and that door opens and it's wonderful to have so many opening doors but go very easy with the doors. I'm just going to say that until you figure them out. That folds down. Like I said, that's an optional piece. You go inside the turtle wagon and you get to see all of Donatello's tech and their tracking and whatever the episode called for they have it installed so it's a nice amalgamation and it looks good for the most part this was the turtle van even the back doors which open right those were probably the most stuck i have to say heat them up maybe but you get to get inside and see all the doodads from a different angle and to be honest yes the doors can be kind of a pain once in a while it has a very thin hinge on both sides of the front, so be very careful. Also, to open the back doors, it took me a while to figure it out, and the front doors as well. They have these little notches underneath that you can pop your finger into and pull them out. As we travel on the underside of the party wagon, not a whole lot going on, but we do have this little piece right here which we will remove so that you can activate the batteries. You got the on and off switch, and we'll turn it to on, of course, and your turtle wagon has some lights. Nice electronics. I very much appreciate that they put that in there. However, I would have loved some sound effects and a button that'll allow you to just turn the lights on from the top side instead of always having to go underneath and hitting the switch. Now, turtles, you say? Well, yeah, if you have been collecting all the cartoon TMNT thus far, this is quite a centerpiece for your collection. And the turtles they definitely do look great. So you can have Leonardo up on top, leading the turtles down the road. They're off to battle Krang and Shredder. Donatello, 
doing the driving. He always is the tech guy. Sometimes he's the driver. He's just the best all around with that. But I like that you can see him front, back, side to side, pull the top parts off as we journey to Michelangelo. Michelangelo stands perfectly inside and you can have him holding on to the bars of the panel that we installed. He just looks good standing there. Which leaves us with Raphael on the blaster cannon and the seatbelt doesn't want to hook in. Perhaps you could get it better around the turtle and get yours a going. Let me know if you got yours to work. But remember, prop it up, wait, over time may sag the door. Now, of course, there's no right or wrong answer to who the driver may be of the turtle van. You can have April driving down the road with the four turtles in the back. She pushes the button and they spring out into the upper atmosphere. I love that shot from the old opening. Now, the turtle van, the turtle wagon, the party wagon, looks great. It's very much a display piece. That's what I want it for. Change it up from time to time. Put a different character in the driver's seat. Switch the turtles. Sky's the limit. There are some rickety aspects of it that I wish weren't there, but that's very much in line with the cartoon TMNT. You always have to go very careful with their toys, and the party wagon is no difference. But if you wanted to see the original Playmates Toys party wagon versus the new NECA Toys turtle van... Well, yeah, the NECA Toys one is definitely bigger. The Playmates one is very much a toy. And like I said, uh, this one, the new one, is very much an art piece. Go very easy with it, but it is beautiful. It looks great. It fits in well with the toys. Very happy to have it. Now, of course, that being said, it is Xmas Day. I do feel like I have to go a little bit more above and beyond, right? You got to really make it Fancy. You gotta make it cool for such a day of holidays. But with the turtle van, you almost need a place to put it. Some sort of a, a lair, right? Some kind of a docking station where the turtles can also live. And now, yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at the Negatoys cartoon TMNT The Sewer Lair. And these are starting to ship out now. Check your mailboxes if you ordered one. Because, well, I'm going to tell you, once it arrives on your doorstep, it, it, it won't perplex you. You'll know exactly what it is. The box is enormous. TMNT, the sewer lair. And again, Tim Laddie crushing the artwork on the front. Bebop and Rocksteady making their way into the turtle lair. Donatello and Michelangelo fighting them off from the couch. Then you have April O'Neil and Leonardo fighting off Foot Clans and Shredders as they make their way through the opposite sides of the sewer lair with Raphael kicking a foot right in the face. Beautiful artwork. Really brings this set to life. And of course, again, like I said, the best signature right there. So, the turtle lair. Nice photos all over the box, of course. On the back side, you get nice photos. You get to see everything that this set will entail. Features include couch, chair, small bench, etc. You can read it. And basically, it's a, it's a dollhouse for the Ninja Turtles. I'm not going to lie. Let's not sugarcoat this. This is a dollhouse for our toys. <laughs> Combine it with a Nega Street Scene diorama. I don't have that. Hopefully that they reissue that, hopefully in 2024, right? That would be nice. Donatello's Techno Tips, located on the inside panel. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this turtle lair. So thank you very much for that. And of course, here's the barcode. You're not going to find this in the stores. But I will say this, much like the turtle wagon, you're getting a bit of a twofer for today. So make sure you have two cups of coffee or maybe a double espresso, what have you. But like Donatello says, on the inside fold of the flap, you got some instructions that I highly recommend that you read. It talks about connecting all the walls, how it connects to the floor, connecting the pipes that are going to go above said floor, and how everything interconnects. Just read it. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot in the box. Lots of little panels, parts, pieces, walls, you name it, it's got it, along with a giant, basically, accessory pack to build out your lair. Lots of cartoon accuracy in this box, that's for sure. So, we'll kind of start from left to right here. First and foremost, you get the blue couch. Kind of reminds me of Pee Wee's couch, right? <laughs> It's the one that kind of comes to life. Has very minimal paint on it. It's solid blue, but it does the trick. It looks very cartoony, along with the big old Homer Simpson couch, right? So this one's for the TMNT. Again, much like the blue chair, very minimal paint. Has some black line work every which way. It looks good. 
definitely a nice little addition to the layer. We also have a mirror, nice cell shaded action. A lot of these parts and pieces are gonna have peg holes on the back coming up. They all as fix into the various walls, much like the exit sign, not much to it but it is painted nicely. Along with this really cool cartoon accurate ninja scroll, I love that, a little peg hole action on the back. It's gonna fit right in the wall. You have the one way sign. I just love how the turtle layers, just everything the turtles have found over the years, much like the stop sign. Again, not much to these, but they're done well. Much like this lamp, it's painted great, it looks great, stands well. Turtles found it on the side corner, it doesn't matter. Then you got the table right here. This is a little side end table. Show you exactly where to put all that. Again, very simplistic. This is very much a dollhouse. I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you guys, as you're watching this, <laughs> it gets kind of dollhouse-ish along with this light right here. And then of course you have this doodah picture or dioda or whatever it says. It's nicely done. It's that three-headed dragon that's always in the background, right? Kind of Hagrid the Horrible, maybe. Then you have their coffee table, which is just a bunch of wood planks Nailed together. Thank you, Donatello, for that. Along with a miniature side end table, which could go on the other side of the couch. Really, you pick your own adventure with this set. You could do whatever you want, display how you want. Then you got this little Ninja Turtle bank. I'm assuming, I, I thought that's what that was. Now to look at it, if it's not, go figure, but it looks like a little Raphael bank. And then you get all the pipes that are gonna go above your sewer layer. And those are nicely done. They all kind of Lego together. I'll show you, you'll figure it out. Nice wear and tear on the pipes. It stands out, it's very cool, nicely painted. It's just nice to see this very well rendered, let's just say, along with a little mini pipe, which won't connect to anything but the wall, but that'll go in the side corner. Then you have the big subsection right here. Not to worry, I'll show you how all these pipes fit together coming up in the video, but you have the large sewer floor right here. You have all the little holes in there, and I like how it's painted. It looks like the turtles have a wild case of black mold going on. There's nice little oranges and browns. It looks like the floor of a sewer, no joke. Then you have all these walls, which look great, right? Again, nicely painted, nicely detailed. It looks like the painted backgrounds of the 80s cartoon TMNT show. I absolutely love the way that that came out. Leading up to the gray sewer entrance right there, all the rivets. That looks pretty darn cool. So you're gonna take all three walls, you're gonna connect them as such. It's really easy peasy. Just kind of fit them in and then pinch them together. And then you're going to get that going into the base of your sewer and voila. Yeah, this thing turns into a giant sewer layer. It's actually very cool. But the fun hasn't started just yet. So we have these tattered looking decals and by decals, I mean foam stickers, right? So they're on the back of this 3M adhesive right there. Check the manuals, make sure you do it right. This is how it looks from the cartoon to the instruction manual, so this is what I opted for. And I would recommend putting the stop sign and the picture frame on first to kind of see how you want your sticker to go. Same thing with the bottom one as it heads more towards the floor. You can also opt to leave these off if you desire, but you're gonna wanna get all those pipes uh, going now, and they all have their designated places. So again, fit all the large three pipes together. Gonna kinda look awkward, I'm just gonna tell you, but once you get it going, yes, everything fits together. And again, you can leave it on, leave it off, it's up to you. Choose your own adventure. But I gotta tell you, when you do get the pipes going, it, it just looks really cool. Again, straight, from the old cartoon, and that's what I was looking for. That's what I wanted right out of the box. Minimal do-it-yourself, that's what I'm talking about. But it's time to furnish our lair, like with stop signs and weird dragon monster paintings, of course. We could put a mirror. I'll need a mirror from time to time. A nice exit sign, that fits in beautifully. Absolutely love that. The scroll goes right on the wall, again, you don't have to put these every which way, but there is one way technically to do this, like having this really cool Ninja Turtle rug. If you're wondering, it's kind of like a mouse pad, but it's nice that they included that. I absolutely dig it. Now, you have the lights, which goes in the corner. You have this 
light, light box, which goes on this table with the little turtle bank, and that'll fit right there into that corner. You have the really cool TMNT couch, which kind of goes right by the rug with the blue chair, kind of is fixed near the opening with the lights. And then don't forget to put the table. You can put the side end table. Again, pick where you want it to go. But there is a few things missing, and that's really where the accessory pack comes in handy now that we have the lair. Because the TV is in that set, along with the Nintendo, and then you got the VHS tapes. And you know what? Let me just tell you. The pizzas, the Mausers, the characters, everything that you have collected all these years, my God, it looks like a freeze frame from the cartoon, from the turtles leaving their stuff every which way, Splinter coming in from his subsection lair dojo. You got the blue chair, and unfortunately, Splinter can't sit in that chair because of his tail. That's the one bummer. He actually can't sit down at all. April O'Neil, no matter which one you want to go for, she's just dropping in on the turtles. Leonardo yelling at the television while Mikey scores a slice of pizza. Raph looks on from behind, standing up. All the turtles fit great on the couch. That is nice to see. All the weapons every which way with Donatello barely paying attention to the wrestling on TV as he fiddles with Baxter Stockman's Mousers. I love this. This looks fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. I could not be happier. It's great for photography. It's great for a diorama display. Sky's the limit with this. You could do anything you want with any types of TMNT characters. Now, there is an alternate way to display this if you don't have the multi-tier diorama set like I do not. The sewer layer comes with a giant piece of foam core. And I do appreciate that they put some cartoon elements on it like Leatherhead looking out of the sewer, but for the price that this was, and let's be honest, this was a pretty penny. I wasn't gonna be without it, but going forward, I would not like the price to be that high for this, especially when you put foam core in it. I think it kind of chintzifies it, if I'm being 100% honest. And plus, the top of it really darkens everything. It almost becomes like a shoebox, too much of a shoebox. So it's something that eh, it doesn't really add anything to it. I would have preferred it without, but I definitely want the multi-tier tower now to sit on top of my sewer layer. I think that that would be fantastic. And if you were wondering, well, how do the other original Playmates TMNT figures fit into this cartoon universe now? Well, the answer is not really. But if you were interested and only bought it for your other TMNT figures, yeah, you could probably finagle something out of it. But the cartoon TMNT is definitely the way to go. However, I will tell you this, for those of you that got the sewer layer and then were wondering, will there be more? Well, I can honestly tell you, after talking with Trevor at DesignerCon 2023, yes, they are working on more additions to the whole playset element of the sewer layer. So coming soon, whenever soon is, you may see a Donatello's lab, which will then connect to your sewer layer. And for those of you out there wondering, yes, you can put the turtle van inside this layer if you have two of them having a living room, right with the tv and then you have the turtle van room it's not as exciting it's pretty much something you may have to diy it yourself to kind of change it up maybe leave the pipes off but yes all of it will fit within the lair so then that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys cartoon tmnt the turtle van and the new sewer lair playset but let's be honest it's more of a dollhouse than anything, but a fantastic sewer dollhouse, that's for sure. All the furniture, all the ways to display, everything that you could possibly do to recreate the old cartoon show, they've nailed it with this lap. The price was not ideal, it wasn't. Hopefully in the future, let's try and knock that price down a little bit because this was a pretty penny, let's be honest, right? But how all the turtles display, how everything looks, I wouldn't change it, this is exactly what I wanted to see. But with the van and now the sewer lair, you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know, let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, thank you so much for watching all year long. I very much appreciate it. From mine to yours, 
A very happy holidays to you all. Now get out of here. Go hang out with your family. Some of you only see them once a year. Heck, maybe call up a family member you haven't talked to for a while. See how they're doing. Tell them about my new turtle lair that I got. Or if you got one. Either way. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.